There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to change the size, make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. And I'm going to keep it this color for now. We're going to change the color of these buttons in a moment. And that looks about centered. Uh, it's going to be more important to um, really make sure things are centered. Uh, but for now, we're just going to uh, go through all the elements of designing first. And you'll see that when I try to put this in a certain spot, it's, it's snapping around. It's using that snap uh, feature that we enabled. So I'm going to go up here, disable the snap feature so I can really center this. There we go. Um, I am also going to drag this right below this register layer and I'm going to hold shift select both layers and I'm going to make another group so I can have everything organized and and separated so we'll do new group from layers and click register awesome now let's add text to the login button and that's just going to say login okay perfect and don't worry about the colors we'll change those in a minute and that looks about centered there we go and I'm gonna do the same thing shift select both layer new group from layers and we will call this login perfect now things are coming along it looks somewhat cool but something's missing and it's because the background image is so bright we need to darken it we need to make it so it's darker and all the other elements sort of pop off the page and the first thing I want to do is come to the background layer and I am going to grab a my rectangle tool and I'm going to drag it all the way across <clears throat> okay now that looks terrible that is not what we wanted but it's fine for now let's double click and we're going to grab our cover overlay tool and we're gonna select uh, a dark black to almost perfectly black and then I want you to come up to the top with rectangle one selected. That's what it would have automatically been named. We'll call this, um, we'll call this overlay. And we're going to change the opacity, opacity, which is pretty much the transparency, to 20 pixels. And no, still not quite right. We'll do 40 pixels, maybe even 50, which is darkening everything, which is fine. Um, we'll stick with 50 pixels for now, maybe 60. Now it's a little dark. We'll do 50 for now. And let's go ahead and drag this into the background layer. You can see that if you drag below, it has a line below it. But if you drag it right on it, it'll drop it into that layer. But it disappeared. So we need to come back in here and make sure that our overlay layer is above all the other layers in this folder. So we're going to drag it up all the way above and boom there we go now things still don't look right the button colors are all messed up so the first thing I want to do is change the logo I don't like the orange with this dark color we're gonna make it white and I'm gonna use the entire folder to do this I'm gonna double click the folder come to color overlay and I'm gonna grab the color and select white click OK perfect And for some reason, this uh, thumb is poking out. I'll look into that in a second. Uh, let's change the login and register colors real quick. And we're going to do the same thing with the entire folder because I want the, the button to be the same color as the text. So for login.